AMC stock roars back to life from being down about five and a half to six percent a majority of the day to almost going positive only down 2.83 percent on the day even up slightly in after hours now on a technical basis you are holding the key zone and we'll talk about that we talked about it in the last video that you actually broke under that but by the close you closed higher than it so i think that is very bullish and shows a lot of overall bullish consensus on amc and that's something you should be excited about and quite frankly stay up to date with on top of that you are getting some news that adam aaron is asking asking uh finra and the dtcc to look into essentially the trading activities of amc to see if there is some malicious intention there this has to do with the failure to delivers and the fact that amc is on the threshold securities list maybe he's trying to appeal to retail investors or maybe he thinks there's a problem and sees something that uh we have all seen this whole time so that's interesting, and we'll talk about it here in this video. On top of that, we will go over everything you need to know, get you prepared for tomorrow in the markets, because there's going to be a little bit of economic data coming in the morning that could also move things around for the better or for the the worst now we're going to take a look at the ftd numbers technical analysis the ortex data what adam aaron has to say to finra and much more so if that sounds like something that you are interested in hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so first things first guys like i said amc stock roaring back to life to the close uh of the trading day today in the last video amc stock was down a firm five and a half percent you did close regular trading down 2.83 percent this is very strong and for comparison here tesla was down over three percent today AMC doing slightly better than that just shows to the extent AMC is very bullish. Now, heading into the March 14th vote, that could tell you a couple things. Number one, markets are realizing that even if the vote comes back as a yes on um, March 14th, that it's probably not going to go through. The courts probably are going to shut this down. Now, I talked about this a little bit more like two videos ago, so if you want to uh, go watch that one, I highly suggest you do. But long story short, the argument that Allegheny County Pension Fund is bringing towards AMC is that AMC took away the class A, you know, AMC shareholders rights to vote essentially saying that we don't have a voice because the, of the deal they made with Intera Capital and Intera Capital has over one third of the votes alone to enact this proposal. I think that is pretty clear and straightforward that you don't really have a say if you're an investor in, in AMC and you vote on this. It doesn't even matter if Intera has so much voting power. I think that's a very valid argument, and I think any judge in their right mind would entertain that. So at the very least, you're not going to know if this will actually happen probably into mid-summer. So there's a lot of time, going to be a lot of uncertainties, and there is a lot of short positions that only wanted to be short on AMC for this arbitrage trade. And if you're kicking the can months down the line, uh, not a lot of people are probably going to remain short in those short positions. Now, let's briefly get into what Adam Aaron asked the New York Stock Exchange and FINRA, FINRA to, quote, look closely at the trading of its stock. AMC Entertainment Holdings has asked the New York Stock Exchange and FINRA to look closely at the trading of its stock, according to CEO Adam Aaron. Quote, many of you and we are aware that AMC Entertainment has been on the threshold list for three plus weeks, indicating a number of FTDs. Aaron tweeted late Tuesday, some of you may be pleased to learn that we have contacted both FINRA and the New York Stock Exchange, asking that they both look closely at the trading of our stock and i'm sure you guys know what you know failure to deliver's are and how this works but essentially to remain on this list for so long it means there's a lot of ftds and we've covered this 
almost on a day-to-day -day basis, there's millions and millions oh, of FTDs. Now it says, just so everyone is aware, it says a threshold security is defined as one where at least 0.5% of the issuer's total shares outstanding transactions have failed to deliver for five consecutive uh, settlement days at a registered clearing agency of 10,000 shares or more per security. Failure to deliver or FTD can be associated with naked short selling where, where investors don't bother borrowing the stock first and simply sell shares with a promise to deliver them at a later date. When that promise is not fulfilled, it's known as a FTD. Now, this can also legally happen with market makers if there is a lot of option activity and there's just, quite frankly, no shares available. Well, they're never going to shut down the options market if everyone bought shares of AMC, if we really did own that much of the float and you see millions and millions of options uh, get placed on AMC, there's going to be some failure to deliver. Now, hopefully not too many and, and they try to kind of uh, keep them in line when it, when it does come down to option activity and you don't tend to be on the threshold securities list for weeks when that does happen. So right there, kind of weird in and of itself, uh, but nonetheless, it can be associated with naked short selling. And it looks like that is starting uh, to be talked about yet again with this whole arbitrage trade. I think that is kind of interesting because a lot of people thought this was a home run. People thought that this was a no-brainer trade, that it was going to go through and you were just going to profit the gap between AMC and Ape. It's not looking so likely right now, or it's not looking like it's going to be very soon. So that may have fueled a lot of these failure to delivers, potentially some naked short selling. So that's uh, going to be something we will watch very closely. As of right now, we don't have any more details. Might be a reason why AMC did rally uh, into the close of today's trading day. Now, Jerome Powell. Let's just touch base on this because we talked about it in the last video, but he's essentially saying the same thing, that terminal rates are going to have to go higher, uh, we're going to have to stay higher for longer, and as long as economic data does warrant the Fed to continue to raise rates, that's what they're going to do. Fed Jerome Powell just had his second day of his congressional uh, hearing, essentially, where they grill him and ask questions for hours, and he did not give you any bullish inkling he did not give you a bullish leg to stand on um in regards to future fed policy and what the fed is going to do uh essentially like i said higher for longer and they even flat out asked him what are you going to do on march 22nd he said well we have some jobs data coming out we have the unemployment rate coming out by the end of this week and you have uh PPI as well as CPI coming out next week all before March 22nd. So he put all the weight on the data coming out. Now, what he said yesterday that the pace of rate increases might have to increase. Well, you went from pricing in 25 basis points to 50. If this economic data is negative this week and next week we talked about it the unemployment rate on friday as well as the non-farm payrolls on friday well the markets are very quickly probably going to start pricing in 75 basis points and if they price that in by the next fed meeting the fed's forced to go 75 or break market expectations i don't know which one is worse because the fed hasn't broke market expectations in over 40 years so you really want to watch this fed right monitor tool right here to see uh, how the probabilities you know go back and forth as of right now there's a 78.6 percent chance of a 50 basis point rate hike so that's probably what is going to happen if we did get bad economic uh, economic data on Friday uh, and the Fed knew the inflation report was going to be hot. I would expect him to come out with some kind of statement if he didn't want 75 basis points to calm down market expectations because the Fed does not like to surprise. They've been very clear. So whatever is over 50%, the Fed is going to do. So 25, 50, 75 some big implications if the fed does go back to 50 or 75 from here markets probably not going to like it that's why you've kind of been read over the past uh two days now and even even before then you're you're pretty red um uh and and you're really not hitting highs right now you're you're 
sub 400 uh, at least most of the day intraday today so you have seen that uh, pullback overall now if we take a look at amc and the ortex data amc like i said is on the threshold securities list 24.49 percent live short interest of reflow 160 or 126 million shares that are currently sold short cost bar average of 251 and a half percent cost bar max 293.32 percent and cost to bar a minimum of 1.04 percent if we take a look at interactive broker short availability you got a cost bar rate of about 105.19%. So looking uh, pretty high still. And I, I think with all things considered, when you talk about naked shorts and all that, it makes a lot of sense why these cost bar rates are so high. And the failure to delivers are also insane. If you take a look at the FTDs for today, March 8th, You've seen 3.5 million FTDs come due. For tomorrow, you are going to see 3.6 million FTDs come due. And then that following week, the week of real intense volatility with AMC, that is going to be the week of expiration, March 17th. You're going to kick off Monday with... 1.8 million FTDs. On Tuesday, 2.4 million FTDs. On Wednesday, 3.4 million FTDs. On Thursday, 3.9 million FTDs. And on Friday, 6.8 million FTDs. Now, this is pretty interesting because a lot of people, whether they were, you know, shorting AMC naked, right? Naked shorting AMC, or they were just shorting the stock straight up, or they were somehow playing AMC short right negatively and playing ape long you're either gonna have to roll over your positions buy more options or sell out coming by march 17th because a lot of them have hedges with the option activity i personally think that's where a lot of short interest is actually being hidden is in this march 17th option ex expiration so the fact that you're not going to get a conclusion uh, for this vote on March 14th, then that opens the door for tons of volatility with AMC. And that's kind of what I expect. And we'll talk about what I expect a little bit more as far as the actual share price of AMC as the days do continue to roll on. Now, taking a look at the option activity, like I said in the last video, you got about 5,600 calls that are currently in the money for this Friday. 173,000 calls that are out of the money. Puts in the money at about 99,000. Puts out of the money at about 100,000. So, some pretty big numbers by the end of this week as far as the option uh, activity. So there is all of that information. Like I said, you do have continuing jobless claims coming out tomorrow. This is going to be the week of March 4th. You are expecting 192,000 initial jobless claims. Last week's reading was 190,000. I don't think this is going to be a huge deal unless it comes in much higher or lower than expectations, which is certainly possible. And in that case could give you a big bullish or bearish response but that's gonna really be it as far as um data that can move the markets and then like i said you do have the non-farm payrolls as well as the unemployment rate coming out friday morning and that's going to be the big catalyst uh to wrap up this week so there you have that as far as amc on a technical basis you can see right here amc broke under this support level on this bullish uptrend in this bullish channel you broke under it, but by the end of the day, you actually closed above it. You see that beautiful little wick down under to close solidly above it. That is a very bullish thing as of right now. And if this chart is correct, if these technicals are put on here correct, that means AMC should be making that move higher off of this line very, very shortly guys so that is pretty much going to do it for this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one